Okay, last time we got into the concept of quantifying virgins. When two light rays may diverge from each other more than two other light rays, or two light rays may converge more than two others. Today we're going to start applying numbers now. So not just quantifying, but actually mathematically um, looking at the numbers. So let's look at these, let's look at three point sources of light. There's a blue point source of light here. There's a green point source of light here. And there's a black point source of light here. And we're going to have three people. We're going to have one guy who's kind of close to his point source. We're going to have another guy who's a little bit farther from his point source. And then we're going to have a last guy who's really quite far from his point source. And this conceptually is, thing, is something that we've gone over in the past. But now we're going to apply numbers to it. So um, the closer we are to our point source, the greater the virgins. So we have this inverse relationship where the farther we are away, the smaller the angle and the closer we are, the larger the angle. Okay, so we get this inverse relationship and we've talked about how we don't like inverse relationships because they're harder to conceptualize than direct relationships. And then this last guy who's very far away, his angle is really quite small. These rays are almost parallel. So let's say the first guy is, um, oops, that should be blue. Let's say the first guy is, um, let's say a half a meter away from his point source of light. And let's say the second guy is three meters away from his point source of light. And let's say just for fun, this last guy is an infinite distance away from his point source of light. So the formula to apply math to this is, it's a very simple formula. It's the divergence in diopters is equal to one over the distance in meters. Okay, so another way you can say this is, it's kind of confusing though, is you can say D equals one over M, where the D here is diopters, it's not distance. And then the inverse is also true. If D equals one over M, then M equals one over D. Distance in meters equals one over virgins and diopters. Couldn't be easier. That's the simplest inverse relationship that you could get. So with this first one, the blue guy, what is the virgence? The virgence diopters equals one over the distance, which is a half a meter. One over a half a meter equals two diopters. What about the green guy? Virgins equals one over diopters. Virgins equals one over, I'm sorry, virgins equals one over distance. Diopters equals one over meters. So one over three meters equals one third of a diopter. One over three meters equals one third of a diopter. Okay. And then what about this one where it's infinity? So the virgins equals one over infinity and one over infinity approaches zero or essentially equals zero. So this mathematically proves what we talked about last time, which is if you get an infinite distance away from a point source of light, that the light will have no virgins. Virgins will be zero. The light rays will be parallel. So here we've mathematically proven that. So if the distance is infinity, the virgins is zero diopters. Okay? And that's the math. It's as easy as that. Distance equals one over virgins. Virgence equals one over distance. As long as virgence is in diopters and uh, distance is in meters. Okay, next um, we'll do some practice problems just to try to drill this home, but that's all there is to the math.